As we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Here, aren't so stupid. <laughs> Is that what men do? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we're being recorded right now. Oh He's shit. So cute. Oh, look at you, little man. Is he awake? No. Oh. Oh. A little stretch. <laughs> Bro, that just thing. That does not come back. He touched you? No, oh. no I, he was hitting on me, pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no, no, he was, I was uh, waiting for the part where he I've never, I've never been like, dude, dudes don't say nice beard to dudes, right? You know how long it is? Like, I don't think you have a gator. Right? Bro, I've been approached. I've been approached way worse than you. Way fucking well, worse than you. Well, let's hear it. Okay, like, well, you could take him to the back room and <laughs> that's gonna... it, it was yeah, before the close time, of one. course, so we gotta make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was on, you know, it was on a New Year's Eve. So. It was frustrating. So, so we left my aunt's house and we go to the Sacramento. My, um, it's That's me, and my cousin Albert, my cousin Willie. Willie's a big like, there's one other friend, you know, plays Pokemon. He's a big buff guy. Okay, so, thank you. Anyways, and he, uh, and then Albert, my Albert's like a clown. So anyways, four of us, four guys, and, and then we're riding the, in a the Mustang, the Mustang that only has room for four. This is nothing to do with the story. No, I want, I want them to understand what's going on. They need to know what's going on. So we're all drinking in the car and going to say, my cousin goes, hey, I'm going to call these girls and kick it, you know, so we go, you know, it's party time. And then, all right, we, we set it up, so we go and we pull up to this fucking yeah. random as they were and park. And then across oh, the street from yeah. us is the sheriff car and a fucking driver. <laughs> Do you hear him? So they're like, I'm driving shotgun. Hey, get out of the car. Stand outside so the girls can see you and they can come out. Oh, All right. yay. Yeah. So I, I, I get out the car and I just lean against the, the you know, I lean against the, you know, the door. The door's closed, but the window's cracked. And I'm just sitting there with my beer. Chilling. I see a dude walking this way. And then uh, he, he, as he walk, as he approaches, like from me to Rosie, he goes, oh, excuse me, by any chance, do you know what time it is? Take out my phone. Oh, yeah, man, it's like 11.49. I said, oh, okay, thank you, as he walks in front of me. And then takes a few steps and then turns around. And he goes, by any chance, do you want to get the <laughs> And then I was just like... Big <laughs> now. Hi, Cruz. Hi, mi amor. He's a meat eater. Look at this little outfit. Tell me it's not the cutest outfit ever. Look on her head. She's about to get slapped you look like right now. Dad, you have dad hair right now. Pretty, pretty. Oh my god. Well, what are we gonna do about mom? Do you want <laughs> We're gonna talk to the railroad drive. <laughs> Hi! Are you mean mugging? Now he's happy because he's eating. This is what a milk coma looks like. Look who's gonna get a bathy. We're waiting for him to finish going cacas. Oh man, you're disgusting. Are you ready for bathy? Are you done with your cacas? Your potatoes here. Your potatoes here. <laughs> you need a pay. Look, there you go. Pressure, the pressure.
<laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> um, this is God saying, you need to pay. I dropped the card, man. <sighs> You're the worst. I know, babe. God damn it. Here, I'll pay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Let's, let's do cash. So we came to Woodland and we brought baby. Well, obviously. But um, we came to do Christmas shopping because no, nothing throws you back from your Christmas shopping game than having a baby. Uh, Look at his face. It kills me. Oh my god. Oh, then there's that face. You can't eat that. You can't eat that, sir. Your first outing and you didn't get out of the car not one single time. Hi, mi amor. So right now we're at Arden because he needs to get a gift card for somebody. Cruz has been sleeping the whole entire time we've been out. The whole entire time. I had to wake him up right now or he would have still been sleeping. Um, I don't think I talked about my hair. Oh, I think I did. I got it cut. It's not how short. It's not the length I wanted. I wanted it longer, but she cut it shorter so what are you gonna do it's just hair grows back but I'm glad to be back to brunette feel Mexican again and being blonde was really fun but I want to look like my son my belly has gone down significantly but I still have like I still have a belly which is really um, makes me very very self-conscious because I've never been really really thin obviously but I've had like a fairly flat stomach and it makes me really self-conscious not having that but I just have to get it back and I know it's only been two weeks since baby so I just gotta like calm down I think that's something that they don't talk about too after you have a baby like how you just feel so happy you feel so happy but you also feel really like gross I'm not pregnant anymore but I, I don't have my body back like I'm just like in this in between and I look disgusting and I hate to sound vain but that was really hard for me like I felt and I still don't feel like 100% confident but I know it'll get there as long as I'm willing to do the work to get back there vous vous le vous le vous no <laughs> vous le vous couché vous le vous couché avec moi avec moi ce soir ce soir <laughs> Avu. Okay, now say it fast. Avu rukshe You say. Je m'appelle Liana. Good job. Boy, he's just passed out, isn't he? Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. It's calm now. Time to take pictures. Oh, I forgot to get presents. What? Cruz. This week has been, I don't know, it feels like you've been here forever already and I feel like you're changing so much, you're getting so big and you're only going to be barely three weeks old and you're just like a little man, I feel like, and you're starting to get fussy, um, not fussy, but like you don't want to go to sleep, you fight sleep now before you would just like pass out. So, and all these things I'm enjoying about you, and I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like you're destined to do something, something great, and I know every mom probably feels that about her kid, but I just see you and I feel like there's something inside you that's just so special. And you're agreeing with me, apparently, so, and I love you.